Hey guys, it's Tuesday 5000. Here's the uh, 122 update on it. Um, got the engine out. Now we got the front clip off, got the hood off. Um, there is no hood support. I'm not sure if I'm going to put one back in. Uh, all the hoods that I have done, they uh, usually the the brackets either always cut or broke or something. And uh, the hood is really straight and I don't want to warp it. I think I'm going to just leave it without that support. I know it, everyone's probably going to think it's going to be all floppy. But uh, I'll put some new rubber isolators right here and then put some foam on the top. It's supposed to have like a little piping thing right here too. Um, I'm not really sure what happened to that. I might have one kicking around. So, um, yeah, this uh, tractor's getting apart here. Uh, I'm going to leave the tranny in. No point in pulling that. Um, i got to take off that mount for the plow, the plow lift bracket. Uh, I take off these steps. They're pretty ugly. Um, I took off these uh, pieces that were here, um, which was the, that angle iron right there. Or kind of angle iron. Maybe it's just sheet metal. And... Uh, I was trying to find what they were covering up, and this is a crack right here, but it's nothing that you couldn't weld. Um, so I'm going to take it take it off, and I'm going to flip it over and weld it from the inside. You won't see the inside. Um, and then uh, if I have to, I can, you know, I can grind it if it, if it comes through or whatever, but I'm going to see if I can get some good uh, weld in there and, uh, you know, sand it all down, whatever. And it uh, should fix that problem. Because that's all that's wrong with it. Um, and this side's even smaller. It's only like an inch and a half. So I'm not sure why they uh, put them brackets on. You should have just welded it. But uh, anyway, here. I got the shifter. I got that all welded up. Threw it in. Moves pretty good. You can see that bolt moving there. It's a little stiff. Um... This bolt here, um, I don't know if it's going to come undone or what. I might uh, throw another bolt in there. Or uh, maybe just put a little bead of weld on that because the only time you're ever going to take that out is if that shifter breaks again. And I don't think it's going to break again. I welded that thing really nice and it uh, should have pretty good penetration. Um, so yeah, I might put just like a little tack weld on that bolt to hold it. Um, and then if you got to take it back out, you just, you know, unbolt the cover and grind the little tack weld off and it uh, should be all set. Um, I was able to get the broken piece of the key out of the key switch, so I don't have to buy one of those. So that saves me a few dollars. Uh, I did order some rear tires to match the fronts. And I got a new clutch disc coming. Um, got a new teaser spring. You can buy uh, the clutch discs on eBay for half the price uh, versus uh, Cub Cadet. I used to always buy them from Cub Cadet, but they're no different. And the parts I get on eBay are actually uh, MTD Cub Cadet parts, so they are all the same. So, I'm going to go the cheaper route just because I don't have a whole lot of money. But uh, I'm going to see what I can do for this thing. Um... And here I got this 106 for parts. Uh, it actually runs pretty good. It's a little rich. Um, but other than that, it it don't have any knocks or anything. I got to uh, replace the muffler on it. It's uh, kind of bad. But I got bought a new muffler for the 14 horse and I didn't even end up using it anyway. So I've already got a muffler. Um, this technically will be a 102. But uh, during the winter, I'll probably end up rebuilding... The 12 horse if I got the money and uh, it'll be a 122 but not a big deal they look the same so uh, that tractor just needs you know quite a bit of work the steering column needs to be rebuilt completely this one actually turns pretty good that one is really stiff and I freed up the spindles and everything so I'm not sure what's going on there but anyway I'm gonna show you how to take out the steering wheels here um, I got my muffler clamp down here it's a little bit modified I put welded on these nuts. I know you guys probably seen this in all of my other videos, but 
I know there's a lot of people that still have problem taking these off. These wheels are actually really easy to take off. It's this style that's a little bit harder because it's got this taper on the bottom of it. You gotta be careful because you will, you will mess that up trying to take it off. So, uh, this is something you gotta watch out for. That's the only style I can think of that's got the problem. This is pretty flat in the bottom. It's really easy to take off. Um, 82 series are pretty easy. Even the quiet lines are pretty easy. But it's just that style there with that kind of steering wheel is a problem. Um, but it, it still does work. You, you might have a little bit of damage when you get the wheel off. But it still works good. And uh, you could clean it up after if you have to. But uh, anyway, just put the clamp on. Tighten this. I just cracked it free with just doing it by hand with the ratchet. That's all it needed. It... Uh, this thing hasn't had a cap on it in years. The guy I got it from had it for 13 years, and he said it's, you know, it's been outside all this time. I asked him about that cap. He said it hasn't been on there for a long time. So with any rain that got on there and it was rusty, it came right off no matter what. No heat or anything. So, oh well. We'll uh, catch you guys here in another video. Hopefully I'll have this thing... Um, down to basically, I'm, I'm going to leave the axle in and the spindles on. I'm going to leave the rear end in as well. I'm going to pull the, uh, dash tower here because I got to, you know, weld up them cracks. Um, and I've got to pull, what else do I got to pull here? Um, I got to tighten up the steering wheel or the, the steering column. And, uh, other than that. The electrical's good. It's a little, you know, got some yellow paint on it from someone painting it. But uh, that looks like it's all electrical tape. So I'll just take some flat black and, uh, you know, mask off the wires here and maybe and spray some flat black on it. It's a real easy, cheap way to do it. And then uh, all the old paint that's on the wires, you should be, be able to pretty much take uh, either a wire brush or uh, something and uh, touch them up and uh, go from there so uh, alright guys we'll catch you in another video and uh, just keep working away on this thing see you later